Let's talk about how to grow a frog. Um, there are actually some companies that make kits on growing frogs and so that's a nice way uh, to have the entire setup and to watch the entire metamorphosis process and so uh, growing frogs can be an educational and entertaining type of thing for children to do and it's a very good learning experience um, because frogs go through a unique life cycle they start out as tadpoles in uh, frog spawn which is an egg mass and so um, in that egg uh, they will grow their tails and then break from their egg shell um, once they're, which is just a slight tiny membrane, outside of the egg, um, they have gills and that's how they breathe in water. They usually are in shallow water, most of the time eating vegetation. After that occurs, the front legs start growing and they start resorbing their tail. As they resorb the tail, they use that for nutrition and generally don't eat very much during that time. Um, after the tail starts resorbing, the rear legs grow and that tail starts resorbing all the way. That's why frogs and toads are in the order a neura, which means without a tail. And so once that tail is resorbed fully, um, these guys then are sub-adult or young frogs. And so they have front and rear legs, and their gills are already resorbed, and they're breathing air. Um, frogs and toads vary quite a bit. T uh, frogs are very uh, semi-aquatic or, or like to live in semi-moist environments, whereas toads often like to live um, in more terrestrial environments. Um, but you can check online or you can check into these kits and they will provide almost everything you need from start to finish as far as how, growing, how to grow a frog. Um, they again go through a unique life cycle and can be very educational and very, very fun to grow and watch.